one o'clock this morning. That's when we went to bed. 12.57 a.m. And what time did she wake up? 5.59. Whoa! I mean, don't get me wrong. We went back to sleep for an hour. But here we are. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I thought I would just kind of take you through my morning routine. Um, how it's looking right now. Wow. Um, I actually spoke in Instagram stories yesterday and like had a, a question box going on. Oh my God, the lack of sleep has shown. Um, I had a question box going on and asked, um, you guys asked a few questions and one of them was, when am I training right now? So for those of you that don't know, Adam was off work for six months when Blake was born. Um, because I run my own business and I enjoy my job and I love what I do, that I did not feel the need for six months, nine months, a year maternity. So I basically gave it to him because he works in healthcare and then he could take time off of work and get paid to be at home. Um, so he took the six months off. He literally just went back to work. So we had kind of been doing, um, taking turns in the gym. So he was going one day, I was going the next day. We we're just alternating back and forward, back and forward. Um, and that worked for us. And we were normally going after breakfast time. So get up in the morning, having a wee family breakfast, and then I would start kind of doing bits of work. He would go to the gym or then, you know, after breakfast, I would go to the gym and then come back and start work. So we were normally going to the gym kind of late morning, early afternoon for the past six months. Now he's back at work. Um, that means obviously he's not getting in until like after five o'clock. We are now going to the gym at peak time. Still alternating days. Today I'm not going to the gym. Um, no, I'm not going to the gym. Uh, so he will be going to the gym after work. Uh, and it's honestly going to peak time. I now love going at the weekend because we can go like 10 in the morning. Oh my God. There's a bath there. Um, we can go early but going at like half five six o'clock during the week is not it but i would like to eventually when blake's sleeping pattern has leveled out to the part where she's going to bed like a normal child does at eight o'clock at night you know i would like to be able to get up at like half five in the morning go to the gym like six to seven before he leaves for work that would be my ideal i'd ideally like to be going in the morning we can't do that right now and that is okay so my morning routine is not consistent of the gym but i would just like to show you how we kind of start the day a kind of healthy girl vibe routine working full time running my business and looking after a seven month old baby Woo! on like six hours sleep so normally how our routine looks in the morning is um, our alarm is now set for seven o'clock in the morning. I'm not gonna lie, we've not really had a routine for the first like six months of her life. Um, it's literally just been when she goes to sleep, she goes to sleep, when she wakes up, she wakes up. But we're not making this about um, like a baby morning routine, this is like my morning routine. Um, Adam's alarm goes off at seven o'clock for work. So we're up at seven o'clock. She may require to be fed at that time if she wakes up she gets fed and she normally goes back down to sleep um till like 10 in the morning so i take this time from kind of seven half seven till close to 10 o'clock to just get as much done as possible so it's like three hours to blast it out you can hear her making a bit of noise just now because she's obviously woke up to be fed which i will do but yeah, my, my morning routine now looks like getting up at seven o'clock and trying to just get as much work done within a kind of three hour period. Does it always work out that it's three hours? Absolutely not. Sometimes she doesn't go back to sleep after she gets fed, sometimes she does. So honestly, it's a play by ear, but this is just going to be how, like, how the kind of average morning routine is looking for us. Um, and I have my breakfast within that time as well because quite honestly I love having my breakfast by myself, watching a YouTube video, taking my time to have my coffee and just relax. I love breakfast, it's one of my favourite meals of the day. Um, breakfast and dinner, like I honestly hate lunch. I think lunch is the most inconvenient <laughs> thing and I don't really like lunch foods, you know, I'm very much eat breakfast and dinner kind of gal. So we're just going to get ready and then we're going to go and make said breakfast um, within the next, oh no, we're going to feed her 
and then we'll make breakfast and crack on with the morning. So I had no coffee this morning so I had to order one to get delivered and I then just blended the coffee with the supplements that I take every single day. So these are the supplements that I like religiously take and I would definitely say make a difference to me personally. I'll tell you what they are. Number one is the soy protein isolate. You know this, I love a protein shake in my coffee in the morning because I like an oat based breakfast obviously it's not like a high protein meal so for the protein component I just add this into my coffee and it's like a shake coffee smoothie vibe other thing is also creatine I will also always add creatine into my smoothie or my coffee at some point in the day I normally just do it in the morning because it's easiest just to do that um but you know if I don't add it in there I'll add it into a smoothie or something creatine and protein i did a whole tiktok on them yesterday if you guys are interested they are hand in hand the two supplements that i will take every single day do you need to take them every single day absolutely not do you need them absolutely not supplements are not necessary if you get everything from your diet but i just find having a protein scoop a scoop of powder in my coffee in the morning it's just convenient for me and it's easy and it suits my personal like taste preference hence the oats and not like a savoury protein breakfast. Another thing I have started adding in, again, not necessary, but I have just started adding in, because we're really trying to build the muscle here, is the vegan BCAAs. I got them in an unflavoured, and they also just go in my shake in the morning, so I just keep it simple, make my coffee, add in these three things, and I feel like I've done what needs to be done there supplement-wise. Um, and I get them all from my vegan, so it's really simple and really easy. The breakfast is done. I've actually just made my mint tea and I am sitting down to work. My lovely morning routine. I am working on the next challenge that's coming out on the app and I'm so excited about this. I have done a lot of question boxes, a lot of polls, gathered so much feedback from Instagram because I really wanted to make sure that there's no point in me making an app that just suits me. You know, it needs to suit all of you guys or the majority of you and what your goals are and what it is you're looking for and how to achieve it. Um, for those of you that don't know, the app is my baby. It's been out for about a year and a half now. And we normally do seasonal challenges, so there's about four challenges a year. That's not changing. We're doing four challenges a year still, minimum. But I'm changing the the purpose behind them. So the guide that's coming out now is, so all the feedback I was getting was, I want to lose fat, but I also want to build lean muscle. I want to reshape my body. The kind of general consensus was that people want to do a recomposition, so you want to completely change your body shape. You want to sculpt it, quote unquote toned. Um, you want lower body fat and you want some lean muscle mass just to give you a bit of shape, a bit of definition. That's what we all want, okay? We all want to just look like diced Amazonians um, on the day to day. And that's absolutely fine. Um, so this challenge is going to come out in about two weeks time, so the end of the month. and. Did I do my makeup in the dark? Um, and it's called the Summer Sculpt because it is giving you 12 weeks, 12 weeks, which is three months, guys, three months, to really hone in. And here is a challenge that is four days per week. Here's your nutrition, here's the recipes, here's high protein, here's meal prep ideas. There's macros available if you wish to use them, but it's also, there's a turn off button if you're not interested in it. It is a challenge that's going to be based around building you some booty, building some glutes, some core work in there, some nutrition tips on, you know, if you're trying to lose the body fat, here's how to do that. Um, it's an overall guide to just help sculpt. That is the best word I could think of. So Summer Sculpt, it starts in a couple of weeks. You can join just now, you can register, you can have a look through the recipes, even try a little other challenge if you please. 
um but just the general feedback from you guys was that you just want to sculpt the body you know we don't some people you know a lot of you aren't even looking for anything intense we're not looking to go absolutely crazy and actually be an amazonian we just kind of want to look like one you know or look like we're related to one close enough close enough um so this challenge 12 weeks long and there's going to be four phases within it so we're progressing throughout the challenge it's not just here you go do you like another thing was accountability so many of you wanted accountability you wanted support you wanted a bit more some some so i have created a chat room yes so we have a facebook page that you guys use already but i feel like facebook's a bit dead facebook's a bit dead it's a bit outdated it's not quite where people want to be hanging so i've created a chat room that's going to be available for people that join the challenge and you can pretty much just comment in there every day you can start new threads you can make friends and you can have your own me threads you can dm i'm going to be in this chat room every single day i'm going to be checking it constantly so you can ask me questions every single day throughout this challenge if you want you can ask other people questions through this challenge every single day if you want you can ask me to review something, let's say, um, I was actually going to swap out this exercise for this exercise. Can I do that? Yes. Or maybe try this instead. You can pop pictures in there. You can do whatever you please in this chat room. But I just wanted to feel more of a community with you guys. And I just wanted more support because having an app is amazing. But having an app is a start. Having an app is where you have everything in front of you. It's like, here's what you're doing for the next 12 weeks. It's not a join my app. There's a bunch of guys. Choose which ones to do and be on your way. It's a, this is the one that we're all doing. As of the end of this month, this is what you're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, or whatever four days you choose. These are the workouts, these are the exercises, this is how to do it. Here's some recipe ideas, here's a meal guide if you want to see how to structure your meals in a week. Um, here's meal prep if that makes it easier for you. That's the base, that's you, here's your stuff on you go. But if you also need that extra bit, a sum something. We have a chat room going. I don't know if a chat room is going to be like the vibe going forward, but we're trialing it out this one just to see how it goes. Um, we did do our lives in the last one, so every week I did like a live video, but it was very hard to find a time that suited a lot of people because of like obviously time zones. Um, and it wasn't obviously like it was great, but it just wasn't quite. We're still trying to figure out what it is we want to do, so we're going to use a chat room where we can just. You know, it's basically like texting, because um, you can do it on your phone as well, it's not just on your laptop. Wow, hello, I am 30, doing everything on a laptop. Um, so you guys can join, I just want this to be an amazing community. I have also decided, I'm going to post this on Instagram, that I want to take on two girls from the app who I will be helping one-on-one. -on -one. I've decided um, to trial it out, I want to take two girls who uh really just need extra and who really want the best transformation they can get and really wants a one-on-one -on -one coach i'm going to do that with two girls um i will post the information about how you can enter that on instagram it's not going to be like an extra charge or anything like that it's literally going to be like you can submit to be the person that gets chosen and i'm going to pick two girls and work with you every day one-on-one -on -one support for the next 12 weeks so I think that's everything I want to say about it. If you want to register, go down below. But keep an eye out on Instagram because Summer Sculpt is coming. But also, um, I really want to help uh, two people one-on-one. -on -one. So go ahead and join if you're not already joined. And I'm going to go on to actually finalising the plan. So something I actually wanted to talk about in today's video is that you're allowed to have whatever goal in life you want to have and I always want you to come to my social media and feel inspired and feel positive and feel light-hearted and motivated and think well if she can do x y and z then I can do x y and z because that's completely 100% the case um, and I just feel like with the postpartum journey it gets received so differently online um, to any other journey well actually I feel like being in fitness, it was always the comments that were negative where, well, it's your job. So you're going to be at the gym more, or you have more time to go to the gym, or you work from home, you work for yourself, like time is your own. And whilst that was all true, there was a time where before this was my job, I made time for the gym and made time for my nutrition and things like that. Um, and yes, it's definitely harder for some people to make time for it than others. But with the postpartum journey, it's as if there's two battlefields. There's one group which 
are like you used to be fit and it's taking you too long to come back your body's going to be ruined um you know you have stretch marks now or you have this now or like let's see your loose skin and all this kind of stuff which is a very small minority very small then you have the other group of kind of negative comments that are when you have maybe gotten back not gotten back but like I feel good about the way I look right now in my shape I'm definitely trying to build upon this like this is like my foundation level and I want to build my curves and build my muscles I am built like a door frame I don't have curves or muscles I need to really work to get them um, and I've definitely lost my bum and um, so we're really trying to get that back we're trying to sculpt we're trying to sculpt the shape um and there's there's quite a few people out there that just think that you are not allowed to have physique goals postpartum because it's selfish or it's like too body focused or it gives the wrong message to other people it's giving bounce back culture or it's given unrealistic expectations for people and I never ever 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 want anyone to think that that is the case. Number one, I have been back, oh sorry, I have been in the gym for six plus years. I trained the whole way through my pregnancy. I had three months off after pregnancy and it took me a while to get back into routine but there are so many factors that contributed to my kind of losing of the baby weight um, and that is that I trained for six years so my body was prepped for life. Um, then I trained throughout pregnancy so kind of minimised any excess body fat gaining. Um, there's also genetics, there's I would say age but I'm 30 so 30 is still super young, I realise that, but compared to like an 18 year old that has a kid, it's much easier for them. Um, it depends on your, your skin, your elasticity, it depends on your nutrition, um, breastfeeding, your sleep. Like there's so many factors that go into it and it's, then there's also the fact that I have been training again for about four and a half months now and really, really trying um, and it's disheartening when you read comments and things that suggest that women that this has been unrealistic and that women can't have these goals and I want to have these goals for myself and I want other people to think that if they have those goals it's totally okay to have those goals. It's not selfish and it's not unrealistic. If you do not want fitness goals then don't have fitness goals like that is absolutely fine. I'm not saying you have to have fitness goals. If you do not want to have fitness goal don't have a fitness goal. Live your life do what you like but if you do want to have a fitness goal or a physique goal or like a whole life goal then have it and I'm here to inspire you to have that and um, just because you have a baby doesn't mean that your priorities 1000% need to change you can still prioritize yourself and be an amazing parent and look after a child or multiple children um, but still also look after yourself and yes is it harder of course it's harder is it great because I work for myself and I'm in the house all day yes but I still have to wait till Adam comes home from work to be able to go to the gym you know I go after working hours I go four times a week on a good week most of the time it's three it would be good to be four but I just feel like I have to say that you are allowed to have goals at any stage in your life whether you're a parent or not a parent Focusing on your goals is totally allowed, it's totally okay and I want to be here to help you to do that but I just feel like there's a bit of negativity online um, with fitness goals, postpartum and I don't understand it. I made these yesterday over on TikTok and Instagram, it's basically the date bark but I am used almond butter and protein powder in the middle to make more of like a caramel. So it's kind of more like Twix vibe than like a peanut butter one. Go and give it a try. I've eaten like quite a bit of it already. But we're going to have this little snack snack roux. Delicious. I literally just look at the layers on this. Also I need to get my nails done desperately so we're just going to overlook that. But wow.